Good morning. Uh, welcome to our first food and fiction in the library program. Uh, it's my hope over the next however long that each week um, I or a different librarian will make something from one of our favorite pieces of fiction um, because we love food and we love fiction. So this week I'm going with a real easy one. I'm doing the chocolate pie from The Help. Um, so I, found, I did a lot of research on 1960s chocolate pie recipes, but apparently the recipe they used in the movie is already on the internet, so that was really handy. Um, I am going to make a graham cr cracker crust because I have a lot of graham crackers to use up. So just smashed up a bunch of graham crackers in this plastic bag. And now I am going to put a little bit of sugar in there because who doesn't love a little extra sweet? Mix it up with some melted butter and then your crust is good to go. Okay, patted that into place. Have a pretty graham cracker crust. We're going to put that to the side for a while. Uh, you could probably put it in the fridge or the freezer too to make the butter harden up but I don't really see a point. Okay, um, we have two beaten eggs. We have a cup and a half of sugar. powder. I really enjoyed both the movie and the book of The Help um, and I especially enjoyed that a chocolate pie played such a prominent part in it. Um, I know it's sort of like a sick and twisted um, bit of chocolate pie at some points but I don't know. Um, I think it just sounded delightful um, and you know you got to cheer for anything that helps fight oppression of any kind. Alright so I'm just going to start mixing these things together. I have some evaporated milk. Which this is the first time I've ever used evaporated milk so it's real exciting to learn all about it and what it is. I have some butter. Let's get all that out of there. I'll give this another mix. Just whisk all these things together. I'm trying to use just things I already have laying around the house in the kitchen because I'm trying to do my part not going to the store too much. Ugh. Add some vanilla. looks like a big chocolatey mix. I would tip it more, but I don't want to pour it on the floor. All right, so back to our crust. We're just going to pour this pretty chocolate mixture on top. 
I used to like the regular nine-ish inch pie plate. I didn't use like deep a deep one or anything. Um, so all of that fits in there in that size. And that's all there is to it. So now I'm just going to put this in the oven carefully. The oven's set at 350. Um, we're supposed to leave it in there for like 45 minutes or until it just sort of wobbles. If you made a custard or like a cheesecakey kind of thing, it's going to have a similar consistency where it's set, but the middle still kind of jiggles around. Um, so that's it for now. We'll see what it looks like when we take it out. Um, yeah, so the help, the chocolate pie. I hope you enjoyed this program and I hope you reach out, tell me what you love about the help, tell me what you love about chocolate pie, suggestions for next time. I want to hear it all. Um, all right, we'll see you when the pie's done. Okay, let's see how this pie turned out. It looks delicious and it smells even better so I'm excited to try it um, let me know what you think of this program and I'll see you guys next week